Well, good morning to all the participants in the in the first step review. Uh, good morning, project officer from the European Commission to the experts, and of course to the project partners um, who are involved with us in the in the step project, and to the work packet le leaders uh, present there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Guillermo Cross. I'm the major of Val de Morrison's. Uh, June 2015, after our municipal elections we had last year, and apologize for this offline presence uh, on the on the form of a video. But I I had a conflict with uh, reception to our Olympic sportsmen and sportswomen that are traveling to Brazil in the coming weeks. I'm really happy to have the opportunity to participate in the Step Project as one of the pilot partners. Our full, engage full engagement came a bit late uh, due to the municipal elections that we had back in May, as I said, uh, 2015. Um, uh, due to that, we changed, uh, that resulted in a, in a complete change of cooperation. But once normalized all the activities in the first months, we have fully committed and, and engaged with the project. You know, and we were very happy to be able to host a pilot workshop last November and uh, participate in all the uh, subsequent activities that we have done through the project. Uh, in terms of, of how Valdemoro will benefit from, from this participation as a pilot partner, uh, the current situation I would say is far from ideal uh, from, from our e-participation and e-democracy um, your participation of the citizenship. No. We ha don't have a solid communication channel with the citizenship. No, it, not even in, in with imp with regards to, with information uh, requests. No. Uh, to be honest, we don't have such. A, uh, we don't have the technology or not even the, the procedures to to collect all the requests in an organized manner. We use the email and we don't really. Uh, keep a track. No, we do the best that we can, but we don't have a system or procedures to to effectively mm -hmm. track all the information requests. No, and that's just the, the first level of participation. No, because uh, after that, the step project uh, is proposing uh, like uh, e-participation in in much more let's say detailed and extensive ways. No, like uh, forums, debates, discussions. No, and the next level would be e-democracy in terms of participation in, in the decisions, no, political decisions and all sorts of decisions that, that we are making in terms of environmental issues. No? Uh, so uh, the, our participation in the STEP project is very important and will really provide a massive improvement on this establishment of solid communication channel with the citizenship, uh, establishing also a formal process formal process in terms of uh, organized in an organized way that provides metrics you know, that uh, uh, really provide da data to, to, to reach to uh, uh, better decisions, track replies even to information, keep them in the central repository for further consult and also a space of participation and decision. And uh, the, the, pr the step approach is very, very convenient. Because instead of having a, like a, a massive approach with targeting all ta all sorts of audiences you know, in 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 Valdemoro and all sorts of topics, this is focused on on a specific audience, young people, you know, with our, who who are fully let's say engaged with technology, and they are the ones that will really uh, participate in all decisions, you know, compared to other other ages or other publics you know, or the audiences. And also focusing on a specific area of interest, like the environmental issues, and and this provides a lot of focus, that are able to provide and deliver results. Mm -hmm. For example, we have had experience trying to engage uh, and and improve participation. Participation, uh, those were very humble, like uh, Twitter and Facebook campaigns, you know, uh, like on recycling, for example. Uh, we have been promoting a campaign, you know, for uh, giving these bags, you no know, recycling bags, to everyone participating, and doing polls on how and require or uh, requesting for ideas and brainstorming how we to improve our uh, recycling policies. You no, know. but uh, of course this is, as I said, a bit humble. 
and uh, did, uh, it was successful, but it lacks follow-up and also metrics that allows us to, to really uh, make decisions on that idea, on those ideas, and, and make actions. No? So I think it's the project. This project is a very great and a great approach for this, providing the technological framework, procedures, and specific responsibilities, and and uh, m uh, data to to really measure what's our progress in these areas. In terms of projects, mm, we are mm, using this, uh, plan to use it in, in many, many areas now. Like, for example, we created a commission for the regional park river recuperation with the involvement uh, of several political parties and technical staff from different administrations and environmental preservation NGOs. You know and also young people participation in, that, in those commissions and representatives from the different uh, parts of the citizenship. And we are running a, a very nice project on, on recovery of that area in the regional park. And uh, using this step project uh, for gathering ideas and participating in the discussion for that commission and also uh, sharing the decisions that are made in that commission will be a great uh, and massive improvement in what we are doing right now. Also on cleaning water um, strategies and urban, tree, urban trees preservation and planting educational activities now with all the high schools that we are involving very very heavily um, eco school uh, recycling garbage collection bin locations known decisions of what we should put those beans also uh, trying to engage and, and uh, empower um, the young people to make the or improve their behavior after or during the events and public events that, uh, that we are doing in, on on open spaces you now for garbage collection and things like that now I think this will provide like a lot of consciousness, consciousness on, on this. No? Also, uh, we have been very active on dissemination activities with the, in the local bulletin. We have submitted several press releases on our involvement in these projects uh, involving associations, sports clubs, and uh, organizing meetings, um, which are, at, let's say, solidifying in a, in a well-established procedure and responsibilities around the organization. No? Well, let, let me finish in the end. I'm, <coughs> I'm really proud of, of the job and the progress that uh, all the participants uh, of the consortium have made so, so far, and also about the involvement of the Baltimore municipality and our team in the project. I'm truly convinced that uh, this will provide tangible results uh, with a great potential to scale to other, other audiences. In, and all the areas of interest towards uh, a real e-participation and e-democracy framework. So thanks for your time, and I hope that you enjoy the review.